Good morning. Austin has now narrowed down the list to two spots to set up potential sanctioned homeless camps. That's right. So one is on the east side of town, the other in the southwest part of Austin. Cake Sands Nabil Ravana joins us live from one of the locations to look at the pros and the cons of each site. Good morning, Nabil. Good morning. Yeah, we're at that East Austin location just off Maynard Road. And as you can see, not a lot going on behind this gate here. But if the city has their way with these plans, you could see some major changes coming to not only this location, but the other in Southwest Austin as well. Now, this spot here on Maynard Road is just south of the Miller Development and east of Airport Boulevard. And here's why the city thinks this three acre area could be a good spot. It's near bus lines and stores. There's already a fence around the property and the infrastructure here is allow would allow them to put in electricity, water and wastewater. But they also say this spot has some challenges. You can see here the area is kind of run down and they'll need to check out conditions of the fence that cover the parking spot and they aren't any there aren't any fire hydrants nearby as well and they need would need to make some changes to reduce the chance of a fire breaking out here. And Nabil, just looking at that, it looks like it's sort of just a big empty parking lot. Is, is that what it is? And, and who owns this? It is just a big parking lot right now. There are some coverings, but the reason that the city wants to look into these two properties, uh, especially this one here, is because they are both owned by the city. You can take a look here behind me, see that it is a large location here that could accommodate what the city wants to do. Now, the second of those locations, that's 4011 Convict Hill Road near Mopac and William Cannon in southwest Austin. The city says this one isn't too far from bus lines, a 5 to 50 minute walk away and there is space for self-contained portable restrooms and showers. There's also enough space for a camp and other facilities. But the problems, there isn't any fencing at that location and it may require extra transportation services. They also don't know if the water or wastewater lines could support people living there. Now, none of this is a done deal. We'll learn more about the sites on July 27th during a city council work session and people who live nearby, well, they'll be able to to hear what's going on and give their input as well. But uh, again, both of these locations could see some major changes moving forward. Back to you. All right, thank you, Neville. And looking in depth here, the city of Austin originally released a list of 45 potential campsites in May. And this is a look at those sites. You can find this map over on KXAN.com. But here's the thing, after this list came out, City Council members asked to eliminate any sites that were too close to a school or lacked access to utilities. Austin's homeless strategy manager said the city needed to relax some of those rules if it wanted to find any city homeland and other possible places uh, had to be cut after state lawmakers passed a camping ban that would not allow camping in parks. This would be the first city sanctioned site or sites if leaders select like both of them but there is another spot in Austin that's run by the state. It's in southeast Austin. It's five acres out off 183 near Montopolis Drive. It's been operating since 2019. It's got tents, portable toilets, and trucks roll through and they let people shower in them. DPS provides security there around the clock. 